Well, hello, my little sugar snickumsies. Welcome back to my first haul video on the My True Life YouTube channel. As you may be able to tell by the title, we're talking about all of the things that I bought for my bullet journal and collage art. So basically, this is a very, very big stationary haul because I bought a lot of stuff that I really wanted it for a while now. So because I'm a minimalist, it sometimes takes me a little bit longer to actually go out and buy the things that I want to buy. But I was running out of a few things and there were some good deals and I finally saw some things that I was looking for for a really long time. So I snatched them all up and this is what I bought. Let's go. As you can see, I have a lot to go through. So I'm gonna start with a big thing so I can make some space on my tiny room table. And so this is the first thing that I wanna show you. It's a document holder. It's by Dilla and Camilla. It has this beautiful print with moths. And I think it's in collaboration with the Tyler Museum, which is a Dutch museum. Museum, Jesus. <laughs> it's a Dutch museum with all kinds of beautiful old artifacts so I bought this because a it was on sale and as you can see you can store all of your ephemera in here all of my bigger backgrounds and whatnot so it's like ooh, that's really nice and I also really like the print so I got myself this really nice document holder then I want to show you these little soft cover notebooks these are a4 or an a4 size um, these just have blank pages and the reason why I wanted little notebooks like this is because I want to do some more collage art. And so I got like a minty green and a blue one. And I already tried to make one collage as you can tell. And it's really nice because this is A4 size. And it allows you to be a bit more creative with your collages. You're not stuck to like a little A5 size of paper and you can get a little bit creative with your backgrounds. So I got two of these and it'll, these will hold me over for a while. And then I also got like a smaller one, an A5 one. I don't really like the cover. I wanted one with like a craft colored cover and um, gold leaves, but that one was sold out. But this one is also a uh, blank page notebook, soft cover notebook. And it's just a little bit smaller, so if I want to do a small collage, because I often make collages in my common place book, or now uh, I'm going to make collages in this little notebook as well, when I just want to, you know, refresh my brain after sitting behind a computer all day long. Um, so this one is a little bit smaller and it's fun for little collages or if I want to try something out first before I do it in my bullet journal, which obviously is like the journal of all. <laughs> so yeah, a small little notebook. Um, and these three notebooks are from Sostrene Gene and I probably am not pronouncing it very well, but I think you know which store it is. It is the cutest store ever. All right, let's move on to stickers. So first of all, I've got this little note pad, if you will, um, also from Dilla and Camilla. It was on sale, so I was like, oh, let me give it a try because these little notes also have a very nice vintage looking vibe to them and I can use these as backgrounds uh, in my collages or to actually write little notes. <laughs> and I really just like this style. There is a French artist, I forgot his name, um, he used to create these beautiful botanic and flower illustrations and his style of drawing and painting I love this so much and Dylan Camilla often has that kind of artwork in their little stationary collection so yep little notes Then I went to Hema and you can find this in most European countries and Hema also has a lot of affordable stationery stuff so I found these really cute uh, letter stickers because my handwriting sucks so it's like oh let me get some letter stickers and then I got these gold ones these are also very pretty very shiny so if I ever want to do something 
with a lot of gold and a lot of glitz, I am ready to go. So I think all of these stickers were like one euro or two euros, very cheap. Um, but Hema does have really good quality stationery. So if you wanna get yourself some cute stuff, uh, definitely check out Hema. Then I went to Action. It's also a European store. You can see like a Dollar Tree kind of store. They had these rub on stickers. They've got like the gold ones and then the plant ones. As you can see, I've been trying them out already. Um, the quality is okay. Like Action is like a really cheap best store, so you can't really expect like the best quality. But I often buy little stationary things there if I want to try something out before I buy like the expensive version. Um, I also got these pretty big A4 embossed sticker sheets. Um, some of them I got double because I really like the picture and then I want to, or yeah, I really like the, the sticker and then I want to be able to use it twice. Um, these are embossed so they have a little bit of glitter on them as you can see. They have a bit of texture. They're very cute, like this little sweater over here. Love it. Um, but. The sticker power isn't that great, so I still have to like glue it down with like a lime roller. So, yeah, I was a little bit disappointed that disappointed in the staying power of the stickers behind, like, the sticker sheet. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't really recommend them. If you really want to have good stickers, I wouldn't buy these, unless you're willing to stick them down with some extra lime roller or lime or glue. But the stickers are very cute. I use this sheet in my latest journal spread for June. So if you want to check that out, definitely do so. And they do have a lot of cute prints though, not gonna lie. So do we have more? Yes, we have more. I really like this style though, because it's the, the, the pictures are very pretty. I'm not gonna complain about the pictures. They're cute. <laughs> So these are even more stickers that I got because I wanted to diversify my sticker collection because I have a lot of vintage washi tape kind of stickers that look very soft and dainty and these are a bit more outspoken so I was like yes I need that give me some <laughs> so I got these stickers you guys have so much stuff so let's go over to these little papers um, I don't know what you would call it there's they look like little cards like they're really really small i thought they were going to be bigger but i bought these on aliexpress they have a lot of good stores on aliexpress that deliver quite fast and they had all of these cute little botanical prints and you guys know i love this kind of style so i was like oh yeah let me get some but the cards i thought they were stickers by the way but they turned out to be really really small as you can see they're so tiny i wish they were a little bit bigger um, but I also have another one with the ferns. And these are also pretty. Let me tell you, I thought I wasn't going to be able to use them a lot, but I also use them in like um, beautiful um, pictures to make like really nice flat lace for my bullet journal. And they're very cute to use for photography as well. So if you're into flat lace photography, photography then these little cards they seem very little but they can add that vibe that you might need because they're so tiny they have a bit of color they have pretty pretty illustrations so yeah I do have a use for them <laughs> and the last packet has paper style in it so if you want to have a bit of that vintage paper <laughs> in your um, journal spreads or collages, you could opt for this one. I have to say I won't buy this again. The The thing on AliExpress is, is that everything is affordable and um, I have yet to come across a really bad quality stationery items or um, craft supplies, I mean, but I'm maybe, maybe it's just me, I'm pretty bad at <laughs> seeing how big something is going to be. So I really thought this was going to be bigger it is way too small. <laughs> so I won't be buying these again. I'm just gonna use these until I'm out. And then I'm gonna go and opt in for bigger pieces of paper. Then I got three blocks of sticky notes because I like this craft paper look. 
and I didn't have a squared one yet. So I was like, oh, let me get this because I can use these sticky notes as um, backgrounds in my collages and in my bullet journal spreads. I also got myself a clear one and a white one, which is the same as the brown one, but we want options, don't we? So I also got these, I'm very happy with these. Then I got this and I thought it was supposed to be a roll of washi tape. Turns out it is just a very short strip of tape. <laughs> it has a really nice print though. It has, um, because I got it for the print, I, was I thought it was going to be on a roll. Um, but it has this really nice print with like letters and ferns and plants. So I really like that. And then this one is the blue version and maybe it's just me. I didn't realize it was just a short piece of tape. <laughs> so that's not very handy. I mean, AliExpress is affordable, but sometimes you don't get what you expect it to get. So either way, I will definitely be able to use these little pieces of masking tape um, because the illustrations are very pretty like this little lady over here. You can really do a lot of cool stuff with this. I also got these three washi tapes. I didn't have anything like this before. These are, they really feel like actual paper. I think it's also paper, but I mean, it's different than a regular washi tape. We've got the one with the scribbles. We've got a squared print and the dot grid print, and they are really just craft paper rolls on sticker paper. So that's really cool. And I bought these because I like working with contrast and I didn't have these craft paper um, tapes yet. And look how cool it looks on a white or slightly yellowish um, paper. It'll really give you a bit of contrast. So I'm very happy that I was able to score these because I love tapes like this for collaging and my bullet journal spreads because they're very good for layering purposes. So these three are a very good choice. Then I got these little sticker packs. Again, I thought these stickers were going to be bigger, um, but these were little um, scrapbook sets that you could order. So they're different sets and you can create little collage scenes with these stickers. So that's really cute. But again, I thought the bigger paper was actually going to be actually bigger. <laughs> but nonetheless, everything in this little packet is very cute. Um, so that's nice. I would definitely buy these again because like stickers like these, like the little flowies. <laughs> Yes, I did say flowers uh, instead of flowers. Um, they're so good for layering, even if you see it like this. How cute is that? They're like, yes, totally get my vibe immediately. So I got one packet and then I got another one. Let me show you. So this is set number two. It has more leafy greens and some scrappy looking paper. this more newspaper like items and that's really cute because I didn't have anything like that yet so this is really cute <laughs> and I really like this as well you guys know I love that vintage vibe so I am very happy that I found this little stationary pack Although now I'm wishing I bought more because <laughs> I feel like some of these things I want to use in different collages and if you only have one, you have to like make a very good decision on <laughs> where you're going to use it. But um, yeah, just gives us another reason to shop a little more. <laughs> All right, let's go over to some tools that I got because I was looking at the YouTube channel by a girl that goes by the name of East of Honey. She was using a cutting tool for her collages and I was like, why don't I have that? This looks so handy. So I finally got one at Sostrene Gene and let me tell you, it is the shiz if you like collaging and doing the more intricate 
uh, integrate, integrate, intricate things <laughs> or more detailed work. And I also got myself a new pair of scissors at Hema with some glitter because my old scissors weren't sharp anymore. And also this one just looks cute. I mean, we love cute stuff. Also got myself a new ruler at Hema as well with some glitter because my old ruler had like a really jagged edge. So it ruined a lot of my micro liners and fine liners. And I was like, nope, I need a new ruler. And this one has glitter, so easy choice. <laughs> We're almost there you guys. I want to show you some clear stamps that I bought at Action because I saw a lot of people use clear stamps on um, YouTube and I was like, oh, it actually looks very handy because these are easier to store uh, than the wooden stamps that I also have. So I got myself three sets and we've got some leaves. We've got some vintage looking ones with the keys I, oh my god i love the keys i've used them a couple of times already and we also have some flowies these are all kinds of roses it's very cute 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 i mean yeah yeah these are very cute <laughs> just kidding <laughs> i don't know where that came from and then i had this really small clear stamp cube as you can see there's already one uh stamp on there but it's too short for all of the other stamps that I just showed you so on aliexpress i got like a big um square one and a big rectangular one and now we are all set and done for clear stamping work <laughs> i also found these really big binder clips at sostrenigene these are gold ones and they're very pretty and i saw a lot of youtubers or um, crafters use these to uh, help them open up their notebooks and keep them open and flat on a table and I was like oh that's actually kind of handy I don't have any of these so I got myself a couple of them and I also bought two on Aliexpress um, and they turn out to be exactly the same just in a different color so this is supposed to be rose gold and these at Sostrenigene were in or are gold so yeah they didn't really you know differ that much in price they were um these were two a piece i think let me check two for 225 and these were 150 a piece so doesn't really it's not much cheaper but they're pretty much the same and just different colors so that's gonna look really nice in pictures I know guys, I told you guys, I got myself a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Um, so first up, I got these little paper sheets on AliExpress. Um, is this Japanese or Korean or Chinese? I don't know, I don't know, but I'm very curious to hear if someone who's able to read this wants to let me know what it says, because it looks really cute, but maybe it has like a horror story on it. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I thought it would be cool because I'm part Asian to also have some little bit of an Asian look in some of my collages. So therefore I went with this. And I also got myself some paper packs, as you can see. These ones are with um, plants. This one really has that old antique look. And then this one has the newspaper vibe and these ones are different kinds of paper and I got two of these because I know that I'm gonna want to use these more. As you can tell these pieces of paper are bigger and these are actually exactly what I'm looking for. Um, this size of paper is amazing. It's, I think it's like postcard size. Can you tell? It's like postcard size. And this is the perfect type of paper to use in collages as a background or as a frame. Oh my god, I'm so happy I found this because I could not find this in a store in my country. Or maybe I haven't been looking well, but I couldn't find it. So yeah, I'm very happy with these. I might as well unwrap these because I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna have to put them away anyway, so quickly show you what they look like and these are all from Aliexpress and this is the type of paper that I love using as a background so we've got some newspaper style these 
These look like little brochures from back in the day if you want to get yourself some soap. <laughs> I love this. So this is the kind of stuff that I cannot make myself or find here in the Netherlands. So I'm pretty stoked there's a thing called AliExpress where I can find this stuff on. Because this looks so cool in vintage and retro, retro type of journals. I'm very happy with these. And this is the last set. And the last item, you guys, we've gone through everything that I bought this last month and a half. And um, I've got some crafting to do now. <laughs> How cute is this? This is like the stuff I can't find anywhere here. So very happy that I found these. What's this? Oh yeah. And this was my haul video. I hope you liked it. I hope it motivated you, inspired you, or made you feel happy in any way, shape, or form. If that was so, definitely thumbs up this video and subscribe for more. And if you have a recommendation for me or all the other people that watch this video who also love to do bullet journaling and collaging, definitely let us know which stationery stores you recommend because I think I'm not the only one who's always on the lookout for the next best thing when it comes to journaling, arts and crafts, and collages. So drop it down below. And if you want to see little updates in between, you can follow me on the gram and on TikTok. The links will be in the first comment below and you can obviously like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can see uh, a new bullet journal video or a collage art video or maybe a haul video like this one here on my true life where we create our true lives one journal page at a time. So thank you so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye. I'll see you next Sunday. Ta-ta.